Hey there, Steven here with DroneOn.eu and today we're going to talk about beginner drone moves. Now, I'm using a DJI Mini 3 Pro to illustrate this, but it doesn't really matter what kind of drone you're using or what brand of drone you're using. This is about the principles of doing the first exercises with your drone, which you can do just like I'm doing today from your backyard. So let's start with the first exercise. The first exercise is just hovering in place. And it might seem boring, but let me tell you why. So the first thing you need to do is pull the two sticks to the center to start the uh, propellers. It will give you uh, an extra notification saying, hey, have you done your checks? You can say check complete, do it again. And then it will just start and it will be there in place. So I'm just going to go up to about high level like this. The thing that I want to check at this point, I want to listen to the drone. I want to hear whether there's some anomalies at this point. And if there are not, then this is just a quick check. This is also the point where you can do your final camera checks and see if the exposure is correct once you start shooting with the drone. Now the next exercise is to yaw the drone. You do that by actually um, rotating the sticks. Uh, the left stick, you want to pull the left stick to the left to do the yawing. And you do that gradually and then the drone will turn to the left. And you do that between 10 and 2 at first. So you go back, you go back straight and then you go back to the right so I accidentally already touched it going down so it's it's a little bit harder than it seems right to just go left and right so here we are on the same height turning left to about 90 degrees and then also turning right to about 90 degrees and you want to vary this um, with uh, the speed of the uh, the joystick you want to vary how fast you are turning. So if I do a full turn like this, it is going to go a lot quicker. And even though I dampened the settings here, then when I just do a very, very slight turn, which is going to be a lot more cinematic, but it takes, of course, a lot longer to do that. So get a feel for the sticks. And then when you feel comfortable, go ahead, just do a full rotation there as well to know how the drone is actually behaving. Now the next exercise that I want to do is just fly in a straight line side to side. So I've put the drone next to the swimming pool there and we're just going to use the right stick, go to the right and follow the path there until it reaches about four or five meters across and then you will go down. So to go down, you will use this stick, you will pull it down and then the drone will actually land in that spot. Landing. So it says it's landing, okay. It will shut down again, no problem. Start the drone again, Take go up the to about eye level. And then again, we will go sideways to the other side and land in this spot just to get a feel of the landing itself and how the drone is actually reacting. Now once you've done that a couple of times and just repeat it going left, right, left, right, um, you can then move on to the next exercise which is going back and forward but always still with the camera pointed away from you. So right now the drone is over there, so I will start it again, bring it up to about eye level, move it a little bit here, and then I will fly backwards, I will bring the drone to me, just nice and easy, don't go too fast, and I will land again. So going down, landing in the right spot that I want. Start it up again, going up to about eye level, then you move it forward. Now the tricky part here is 
uh, because my lawn is a, bit, a little bit long grassed, I just wait here. I try to estimate where the drone will actually be hovering. So it's uh, really important to know where your drone is and you get a feel for the distance of your drone. So here I'm about right, I think. So when I go down and I look at the camera, I see, well, I'm actually halfway on the grass also. So that means I need to go a little bit more to the front, like here, and then I can land the drone in a safe manner. So you can use the camera pointing down to actually know where the drone is going to be. So use the tools that you have. That's also a very important lesson. And the next exercise is about going diagonally. Now to go diagonally, you actually go to the corners, to the diagonal corners where you want to fly. Now, this can turn in all directions. So using a fixed diagonal is a little bit harder than it may seem at first. You just have to get used to the controls and that is what all these exercises are meant to do for you. So again, I will start the drone, go up, up a little bit higher. I will go here a little bit more to the left and then I will fly diagonally towards me. And you have to stop in time and then you can do the diagonal in the other direction. Like so. And then the other way around, of course, you bring the diagonal back to you. And you go back in the other way. Now, when you do these exercises, make sure that you are always very careful on the sticks. If you can do it in cine mode or like a, a slow mode uh, in some drones, it's called a tripod mode, for example, where the drone moves slow because, well, it can react pretty quickly and then you might, you might start to panic at that point. So we don't want that to happen. We want you to get comfortable with your drone at your own pace, of course. So these are the exercises with the nose of the drone or the camera of the drone pointing away from you. Now we're going to reverse the rolls or reverse the drone and we'll make it point towards you. So to do that, again, bring the drone towards the center. Use the yaw to turn the drone all the way around. So the yaw is this stick here. And now we are going to fly forwards. Gentle because the drone is coming towards you and just go backwards just get a feel for what the drone is doing like so going forwards again and you can adjust a little bit make sure you fly slow and easy slow and steady is always better than fast and rough well at least when you're flying with drones Now, if you want, you can actually go the left-right position again with the nose flown to you. But then I'd just like to jump directly to the diagonal flight. Now, in this diagonal flight, you have to reverse your thinking. So if you pull the stick to the right, the drone will go to the right. But with the nose pointed to you, from your point of view, it will go to the left. Um, so that is kind of a mind bend that you have to get used to. And it's definitely worth practicing that a lot because if the drone is coming towards you and you want to evade something then you have to reverse the stick movement to what you see so if the drone needs to move to your left side you need to move the stick to the right again so this diagonal flying exercise is definitely a good exercise to practice that so again we start the drone go about eye, eye level that's a little bit too high I will go to the right to bring the drone further to the left because that's the right side for the drone. And then actually I will fly diagonally. So I still need to move forward to bring the drone to me, but I need to move it to the left because it needs to go to my right side. So like this. And here it is diagonally. The same if I want to move it further away from me, I will go backwards and I will go to the left side of the drone. 
and then it goes in a diagonal all the way back there. And then of course the same thing, have to reverse it so the diagonal reverse is forwards and to the right. Like so. And once you are here, you need to go backwards and to the, uh, to the right of the drone again. So that's this corner that you then actually need to use. So again, repeat this exercise many times because this is really important that you can handle the drone when the nose is flying to you. Because otherwise, let me just quickly show you. I will bring the drone to the left. I will go forward and um, it's going to fly to me and I want to evade to my left side. So I want to evade to my left side and I go left. Well, it's actually going to my right side and we don't want that to happen at all because then you would be flying into things and that would not be a good idea, of course. Now, once you get acquainted with the drone and the way it handles, it's time to start with the real moves. And even though this type of drone actually has quite a bit of assistance features where you can have the quick shots and you can do a point of interest, it is important that you can fly a point of interest yourself. Now, what is a point of interest? Point of interest is just the drone flying in a circle around a point that you want to film. So in my case, I am going to aim for, uh, let's say, yeah, I will be aiming for that bench in, in the background here. And uh, let's bring the drone in position and we will fly the drone in uh, a point of interest movement. And I'm going to move this stick to the right and the other one to the opposite end or to the left and the other one to the opposite end. This is how you do a point of interest. And the important thing also with a point of interest is that you ease into it. It's not full full. Uh, you have to see how tight you want it to be. It can be a big arcing motion where you hardly move the yaw uh, on the drone, or it can be a very tight point of interest where you can fly um, with a lot of yaw at that point. So here we have the point of interest and you have to slightly adjust what you're doing to accommodate that the subject remains within the center of your frame. And this is how you fly a point of interest. Now this was flying a point of interest with the drone uh, actually filming something. Now you don't have to be doing that. You can just try and do the point of interest from a visual perspective where you fly low and close to the ground and you can actually see the drone doing that point of interest. So let us do that. So I'm going to go down a little bit. I will bring the drone a little bit closer to me, taking a little bit more distance. And here I'm going to start doing the control again. Can be a little bit more like this. And then you actually just keep hovering the drone and keep flying that point of interest. So the next exercise we want to do is to actually fly a figure eight. And with the figure eight, we fly with the nose pointing forward. So it will go like this and the nose will always be pointing in the same direction. That means that you will have to basically make kind of figure eights on the stick as well. Now make sure that you do this exercise with either a lot of room that you have or otherwise uh, make sure that you use minute inputs in the stick at that point because you will drift quite quickly with this exercise if you don't have full control. But that's the whole point of the exercise of course to gain that full control and get confident in your ability to control the drone in whatever scenario that you might come across. Right? So let's see what that looks like. So here's the drone, I'll put it a little bit lower so you can see it more easily. You start by going backwards, sideways, going to the front, going sideways again, coming back to the center, and then you do it the other way around. So going sideways, going to the front, make a nice circle and going back here like this. Right? So this is how you do a figure eight and you will have uh, preference of direction. Mine is going in that direction. So starting to the right first, others will start to the left first or go to the left to the back and then to the right uh, and so on. So 
yeah, it is all depending on your personal preference and it doesn't really matter where you start or which direction you take. It's just important that you gain control of the drone in this particular scenario and this particular exercise. Now the final exercise that I want to show you is flying the same figure eight but with the nose following the path of travel. So that means that you're not using the diagonal sticks here anymore, you're just using the combination of this stick going forward and the other one using the yaw at that point to, to determine the direction of what is basically forward and you're changing that while you are flying. So we start on the diagonal, we immediately start yawing the drone, make sure you fly nice and easy, nice and easy, give it a full yaw, it will make a circle with the nose flying forward. It will then have to go through the diagonal, going straight on, and then you move the yaw stick to the other direction. So it will actually turn in the other direction, kind of a full circle, almost. And again, you start going straight on. Make sure you do this nice and easy, nice and easy. Nice and easy is always better than jerking your way around this exercise. Make sure that you are comfortable using this and then you can add some input to regain height for example if necessary. So there you go, these are some very interesting exercises that you can do with the drone of your choice um, to get acquainted with how the drone actually flies and what the reaction of the drone is to the inputs that you're giving to the stick. Make sure you practice this quite a lot before you go out in the field to make sure that you have full control over the drone when something happens. And make sure to check your local regulations to see how you can fly, where you can fly, what times you can fly, uh, so you don't get fined for this because more and more people and police are actually uh, reporting drone abuse because a lot more people are using drones and uh, to keep it free and enjoyable for all of us I would urge you to just follow the local regulations if there's a region where you can't fly don't do it if you're near an airport don't fly at that point because if you cause an accident that will be really really bad so it's not really worth doing all that stuff um, just to get some beautiful shots um, keep it safe that is the most important stuff so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos and for now thanks for watching until next time drone on